This is a video for the Stella Project. To find out more about the Stella Project, visit www.stelr.org. And in this video we're going to look at how to measure power from the Stella wind turbine. They've already got some things made up here. This is the Stella wind turbine. It has got a 12 volt DC motor in it and when the motor spins around it produces electricity um, in direct current. There are two sockets at the front and we're going to use the bottom socket because that connects directly up to the motor which is straight behind it and we're going to take the power out from the back of the um, turbine there. There are two terminals. We haven't labelled them positive and negative because it depends on which way you turn the um, socket as to which one's going to be positive and which one's going to be negative. So, put this into the boss head on a retort stand to hold it in front of the fan. We'll take one cable and from one side, one of the sockets, and we're going to measure the current. So we'll go into the V ohm milliamp socket and we'll go from there from the common to one side of the light bulb because this time we're going to see what happens when kinetic energy of air is transformed into electricity and then into light and heat energy in our little incandescent light bulb. Go for the other side of the light bulb back to the wind turbine. We'll turn this one around, the dial around to 200 milliamps. Then we're going to measure the voltage across the light bulb. So the red terminal goes into the V socket. The black terminal goes into the COM socket. And we connect this across the light bulb. And this one, because we're measuring voltage, it goes around to, we'll put it on 20 this time because sometimes you can get really high voltages, you know, get up to 6 volts out of this turbine if the blades are spinning around really fast. Then we take our blade hub, which I've already assembled, and put it into the bottom socket. Then when the air turns the blade, we'll get a current and a voltage meter reading.